Ahoy there trader and welcome back. We're looking at the S&P futures and we're looking for a buyable dip to start rallying to provide us with an entry. So following on from the uh, past videos that we started at the end of December, we're looking at the S&P futures. We're looking for swing trades so that we can profit from the stock market in the smartest possible way. I typically use a classic trend trading approach. Um, I've managed to systematize and automate as much as I can of it, which allows me to run the, the, the back test that says, is this strategy good? on this market, in this case, the S&P futures, we've got a wonderful 20 year equity curve that suggests, you know what, we're doing the right thing here. And this gives me the confidence to be looking for what I consider a Bible dip. So we've already got, if I just zoom in, the automation has fired off at the end of December. Uh, as I mentioned on previous video, I was looking to wind down my trading. So there has been a trade. We took a little nibble out of that move there uh, and I'm looking for a new entry. So just thinking about the price action, we've got this essentially rising channel. This extra analysis is not really necessary. It just, I'm looking for my entry. So as price comes back to this rising channel low, and um, we can start thinking about price coming back above the 50 period move and average. We've already got it marked off on the 20. And again, just waiting for price to turn around and essentially create this V-shaped pattern. We sometimes call these um, reversals. If it helps you visualize it, it's the head and right shoulder of the, uh, in this case, an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So they can be quite interesting patterns to uh, augment and enhance the trading opportunity. As I mentioned earlier, it's not actually essential to do the extra discretionary stuff. The algorithm, the automation is saying, go long there. Um, you know, sitting through a little bit of retracement again, just as I'm starting and ramping up my trading for 2022. I've not yet taken this trade. I've only taken a few uh, trades myself, but uh, I can certainly be looking for an entry as it goes back above uh, the approximate uh, 4700 level. I'm looking at 4705 for my entry or as close to, and that's essentially what I'm waiting for. Patience as always is the name of the game, and that's how we make our money as traders, by waiting for the best opportunities and not just jumping on the first opportunity we find. If you'd like to learn a little bit more, click the link next to this video, and I will tell you all about production line trading. Speak to you soon, bye for now.